Hi fifth graders! Today we're going to go on a virtual tour of the City of Bellingham's water treatment plant, which is where our drinking water gets filtered, and also the wastewater treatment plant, which is where the water that we use after it's gone down our indoor drains goes and gets cleaned before it discharged into Bellingham Bay. Let's begin with the water treatment plant, which is located near Whatcom Falls Park. The City of Bellingham gets its drinking water from Lake Whatcom. Lake Whatcom is recharged from precipitation, such as rain and snow, falling on the land within the watershed. The city has access to a diversion dam that can serve to help supplement the city's water supply. The diversion dam connects the middle fork of the Nooksack River to Lake Whatcom via a pipe that runs under a mountain. The city, along with partners, is in the process of upgrading the diversion dam structure to allow for more sustained use of this resource. Water goes from Lake Whatcom to Whatcom Falls Park to the screen house where it passes through a screen and removes really large chunks such as leaves, fish, and maybe even some litter. Then the water goes to the water treatment plant located near Whatcom Falls Park. The first stop for the water is the rapid mixing basin. Here, alum and polymer are added to the lake water. Alum acts like a magnet for dirt and algae, and the polymer is like a glue holding it all together. Algae is an aquatic plant that naturally grows in both freshwater and saltwater. Just like plants on land, algae photosynthesizes. In the summer months, there's more algae in Lake Whatcom than in the winter months. The water flows into the dissolved air flotation basin, where millions of bubbles float the dirt and algae to the surface. That dirt and algae gets skimmed off of the top and goes to the wastewater treatment plant in Fairhaven. The water is then pumped to the filter gallery, where there are six filters that have the same function. Each of the six pools has a layer of anthracite coal and a layer of sand. The mixed media traps organic impurities, or objects floating in the water. Gravity pulls the water through the two layers and out the bottom of the pools. Operators monitor the flow of water and turbidity, or cloudiness, of the water to determine if the mixed media filters need to be cleaned or backwashed. When the filters are backwashed, the filter pool is drained, and then water is sprayed from the bottom upwards, floating all of the organic matter that was trapped in the filter. The dirty water is sent to the wastewater treatment plant in Fairhaven to be cleaned. Water from the lake is slightly acidic, so soda ash is added to raise the pH, or acidity, to protect the pipes. The final step of filtering our drinking water is to add a disinfectant. We use chlorine. If this were a tour in person, when you walked into the water treatment plant, you would notice it smells like a pool. That's the chlorine. We disinfect the water to make sure no living thing remains, such as bacteria or viruses, which could make you sick. At the City of Bellingham's water treatment plant, we create chlorine on site. We start with saltwater brine and pump that salt water into an electrolysis generator, which zaps the salt water with electricity. The electricity rips apart the molecules of salt water into two different things, liquid chlorine and hydrogen gas. That liquid chlorine is added to the drinking water to kill anything remaining. Chlorine has to stay in contact for 24 hours with the water before it is distributed into the city, where it comes out of faucets, showers, sprinklers, and fills toilets. This whole process is monitored and controlled by our water treatment plant operators 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That's quite a few steps to filter the water from Lake Whatcom before you can fill up your next glass. That's some great tasting water. The City of Bellingham has won a few awards, including Best Tasting Water in the Pacific Northwest in 2006 and 2016. Before we move to how we filter the wastewater, let's pause and have you make a list of how you've used water today and what you might have sent to the wastewater treatment plant to be filtered from your indoor drains, such as the toilet, kitchen sink, laundry machine, and shower. Next, check out the video on how the City of Bellingham treats the wastewater at the Post Point Wastewater Treatment Plant located in Fairhaven. Do you know what actually happens to the water you use indoors after it goes down the drain? It goes on a journey of collection and treatment in order to protect public health and protect the water quality of our creeks, lakes, and Bellingham Bay. 
After people use water for cleaning, cooking, and manufacturing, that dirty water goes down indoor drains. Wastewater collected from all over Bellingham flows through pipes and pumps to the Post Point Resource Recovery Plant in Fairhaven. This is where we clean the wastewater before discharging it into Bellingham Bay. The main process of cleaning our wastewater includes screening, settling, flotation, skimming, clumping, and disinfection. Let's take that step by step. First, we go through preliminary treatment. This step involves removing the biggest material. Here, there is also a receiving station for residential septic tank sludge, which is the solid stuff from septic tanks. We then add air and chlorine to the water, which helps reduce odor and control bacteria. It then flows through screening bars, where more large debris is removed and sent to a landfill. The water enters the grit chamber, where it slows down to let sand and other heavy particles settle out. The water continues on with the treatment process while the grit is dried out and also sent to a landfill. The next step on our journey is primary treatment, where the wastewater flows into a large primary clarifier, also known as a settling tank. Suspended solids, or sludge, sinks to the bottom while oil and grease rise to the surface. A large mechanism arm makes its way around the clarifier where it skims off the scum and sucks up the sludge to be sent to solids handling for incineration. We then move on to secondary treatment, where the wastewater flows into large and closed aeration basins. We take something called activated sludge, which is aerated sewage containing microorganisms, and add that with wastewater and oxygen bubbles to let microorganisms trap and remove contaminants. The water moves into large clarifiers where the organisms settle to the bottom. Some are removed and incinerated, and other organisms are returned to the aeration basin to go through the process once more. At this point, 95% of the organic waste and solids have been fully removed. We move on to disinfection where wastewater spends about an hour or two in the chlorine contact chamber where chlorine is added to kill any remaining disease-causing organisms. Sodium bisulfate is then added to react with the chlorine and create salt, preparing the water to enter the salt water in the bay. Laboratory personnel continually monitor the treatment process to ensure that water released into the bay is safe for the environment and human health. Staff collect samples throughout the process and test it to make sure the plant is running at optimum efficiency. Following treatment, the water travels about a quarter of a mile into the bay. As you can tell, cleaning wastewater is a highly technical process that takes a lot of time, expertise, specialized equipment, and maintenance. You have a role too. Please properly dispose of medications, chemicals, grease, fats, and oils. To learn more about where to dispose of chemicals and medicine properly, call the Whatcom County Health Department or visit whatcommedreturn.org. Remember to only flush the four P's down the drain, poop, pee, puke, and toilet paper. For more information, call 360-778-7700 or go to www.cob.org forward slash pw.